Hello, welcome to uh, the latest video in ACCL's IVMS 4200 series. Uh, today we're going to look at some of the um, most useful uh, account management and, and settings uh, features within IVMS 4200. It's just a few things that um, are worth talking through and understanding um, and it just helps uh, with the efficient use of uh, the software. Uh, first of all, we'll look at how to set up uh, an account. So when you initially set up IVMS 4200, you have uh, generally an admin account that can do everything. Uh, and if you go into account management on the right hand side here, uh, you'll see uh, admin, super user, uh, and you've got permissions to do everything. Um, obviously, um, if you're going to let other people use the system, you potentially don't want them to be able to do everything. So what we'll look at here is uh, how to add a new user and what settings are required and what settings probably aren't. So it's quite straightforward. Click add. You have a couple of options here. Basically, you've got administrator and operator. Operator has everything unchecked and lets you add in the bits you like, um, which is quite a good way to start, really. So just type in the name. Let's just call this person Bob and put in a password for them there we go um, obviously if you click all click everything one thing you need to make sure happens is that um, when you click on the settings here it applies to all of the cameras you have on the right hand side if you don't um, you you don't have that setting for that camera or that nvr um, it's especially uh, useful to understand that if you add in extra cameras on MVRs or, or additional MVRs in, sometimes they're not uh, there and that user won't be able to access the MVR. You have to manually go back in and add them in. So, um, so camera settings, um, if you click on that, uh, you'll see that that hasn't selected the MVR. So if I do that and then click that, that, that actually manually puts it in there um, one thing that is really uh, quite useful to know is that uh, the exit item here if you don't click on that then uh, the person won't actually be able to come out of the software which is useful if, if you don't want them to uh, if they're not allowed to exit um, but generally it's a good idea to have that one checked uh, and then you can just go through and select the items that you would like them to do um, generally live view uh, is a good one and again make sure you click on all of the MVRs uh, and cameras associated cameras um, recording uh, if you want to mount a playback and all that, those functions there are different settings here uh, generally if you want to give them playback or whatever you just select all of these uh, if you don't want them to look at anything historic, just uncheck these and they won't be able to. If you click on here, you can just double check what that's applied to. So exit isn't applied to any MVRs, that just allows you to come out of it again. So we can just give this user the ability to log on and live view. And that's all they'll be able to do. And once you've done that click save and that's created bob um, you have created the password for them you just have to let bob know what their password is and they can log on once you've set up the system and added some users in if you install the software on a different pc um, you're not going to have this configuration file so what you need to do is come up to uh, the menu here click on system and export configuration file that will export all the information that you've put into this version IVMS 4200 and it will allow you to import that into with the, the button above another uh, PC another another installation you have um, so if you have one master PC uh, with uh, the system you update and, and move uh, and, and, and use all the time if you have it running on any other PCs you just if you make any changes at this level the system level 
you need to go in and export that configuration file and then import it on the other PC. Uh, a thing to note is that when you install it on uh, the secondary PC, um, you just create a dummy account first of all, dummy super user. So you just create, you know, admin, uh, admin one, two, three, four, um, allow that to create and then port. And then what that will do is import the admin data from the other installation or the user data. Uh, so then you can log on uh, in that way. Uh, so you don't need to worry too much about how you initially log on, but, but that's how it does it. Um, so that's, that's the basics of uh, early account management. What we can look at now is a couple of small features that are pretty useful. Um, one is the storage schedule. Um, and something that is quite common is uh, being able to limit the amount of days uh, you retain CCTV for. So essentially, uh, with the Hike uh, NVRs, they'll carry on recording until the um, hard drives are full. Um, that could be a week, it could be a year. Um, it just depends on number of cameras, size of the hard drives, bit rates, all that kind of stuff. So um, you got it, it just is what it is. Um, obviously you want to put about the right amount of um, hard drive space in there to, to retain uh, more than you, you really need. Um, and what you do is you come into to this advanced setting here and you can actually define the number of days you retain that footage for. If you leave it as zero, it just will record for as long as the hard drive storage will says. A lot of people will like to have it at 30 days, 31 days, 32 days, whatever. So if we put in 30 days, click OK, that means after 30 days, you won't be able to view any of the recorded footage. Uh, and that's to comply with data, rec data uh, protection, GDPR, human rights, all those, those uh, acts. Uh, and it's quite a useful thing to understand. I won't set that on this test system. Uh, but yeah, that's a really useful feature. Again, if we go into uh, system configuration on the right hand side here, another useful thing to understand is the files. When you save a video, um, it, 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 which we did in the previous video, it, it saves out to this path here by default. Uh, it's not the nicest place to find but it's always the same so it's basically the public uh, IVMS uh, directory uh, so if you, if you wonder where your videos have gone it's always going to be where this path is set to what I like to do is change that to something a little bit more meaningful uh, and I can put that into uh, I don't know, a OneDrive or whatever put it onto the desktop not the best place to put it but you know you get the point you can you can actually you know put it into your user this PC videos or whatever it is uh, so you can actually define uh, better where those videos are stored. And the same with uh, still images when you save them. Again, you can just uh, put those into a folder. So that's quite useful to understand. If you can't find your videos, go and look here and you'll see where that is. Just a quick look at some of the other features. Um, date format, obviously, you know, can be done in many, many ways. Obviously, that's the UK way, day, month, year. Uh, but you can flip those around. Uh, you can change these as well. Um, the logs, uh, and performance, you know, you can vary these some of the times, and other things that, you know, just here, you know, useful. Um, one thing I always change, sometimes that's on bitmap, um, bitmaps aren't very friendly, uh, JPEGs are just as good, so I normally change that to uh, JPEG, um, and I normally keep the MP4, have these are quite a bit larger. This is quite a useful one. Uh, sometimes you can merge the video files. Uh, they, they get chunked down. Um, and that's something you can do, but probably not worth worrying about too much. Most of the other settings are pretty um, pretty standard uh, and probably don't need changing. Uh, if you need any help, um, just let us know. Uh, toolbars, that, that's uh, quite useful. Uh, if you look here, uh, when you hover over a live view or a playback, you'll see uh, a little toolbar come up at the bottom. Um, I mean, if you haven't got a PTZ camera, there's no point in having a PTZ control icon there. So I've unchecked that there. So I've just got take a capture, record, um, and a playback. Uh, but if you want to put any of those on, you can. Um, again, likewise with, with the uh, playback, um, I've just put in the ones that I, I find useful. The download's fairly useful, so I could do that. So I click save. Uh, yeah. 
So that's just a quick overview of a couple of features, um, how to add a user and some of the basic system configuration uh, features that I find are useful to understand. If you have any specifics or you've got a question about any feature you're not quite sure on, uh, please drop us a line in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.